So the graph we're going to do is y equals 4x squared. We're going to examine what happens when we continue to make the number in front of x squared bigger. So the original problem that we graphed was y equals x squared, and there's typically a 1 in front. y equals x squared is the same as y equals 1x squared. And when we change that 1 in front of the x squared to a 2, it made the graph skinnier. Well, my hypothesis would be if we put a 4 in front, that should make the graph even skinnier. So let's see. Uh, we'll keep the same x values, which will be from negative 4 to 4. And y equals 4 times negative 4 squared. Negative 4 squared is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So my new coordinates are negative 4, 64, negative 3, 36, negative 2, 16, negative 1, 4, and 0, 0. That's the staple. That's the vertex or the center. That's been the center of all our parabolas so far. 1, 4, 2, 16. 336, 464. And it looks like I don't have room to plot 464. So, you know, to make up for a coordinate that I haven't graphed, I'll pick a number that can easily be graphed on here. Looks like I need to pick a number between 1 and 2. So I'll pick 1.5, otherwise known as 3 halves. I'll pick 3 halves and negative 3 halves. So 4 times 3 halves to the second power. 3 halves to the second power is 9 fourths times 4 is 9. 4 times negative 3 halves to the second power is 9 fourths times 4 is 9. So I'll graph negative 3 halves 9, and I'll do 3 halves 9, and I'll draw that graph as well. Alright, 4x squared is skinnier than 2x squared, which is skinnier than 1x squared. So the larger the number in front of the x, the skinnier the graph. And I noticed that all three of these graphs have the same vertex. They all have the same center. So it would be great to figure out, you know, maybe next time how to shift that graph over. So we, it looks like we're going to have to change something to our original equation besides putting a number in front. And that concludes graphing a parabola in the form of y equals ax squared. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba.